Hello Pisces, welcome to Lotus Heart Tarot. I'm so excited to dive into your reading today. Yesterday's reading was so like cool. Anyway, okay, here we go. Um, I like to begin my readings by thanking those of you who have been with me for a long time. Those of you who like, share, comment, subscribe. I deeply appreciate all the support you've shown my channel. Thank you so much. To those of you who are new here, welcome, welcome. We're very happy to have you. Just keep in mind that all these readings are general, so take what resonates and leave the rest. For Pisces, please, Spirit, what message do you have for Pisces? Today I was really drawn to the angel messages of it all. Hmm, interesting. Um, you have the ocean. The deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. The irony that this is a Pisces reading and you're getting the ocean. I... Every Pisces I've known, it's like such a cathartic experience for them to go to the ocean. It is, I mean, it's scientifically proven to be a cathartic experience for everyone. But yeah, there's definitely something to the fishes of the world. The little mermaids and mermen. Giving and receiving. The entire universe operates its cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. When you only exhale, give, or you only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe. For optimal health, energy, and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. Gosh, <laughs> I'm, I'm reading that card and I'm literally... I don't know. I was stuck on, well, how you can't balance it out if it's about receiving, right? Because, you know, but you can balance it out. First of all, you can give to yourself. But second of all, if the world isn't giving you a whole hell of a lot, maybe you don't give the world a whole hell of a lot. You know what I mean? I don't know. Um, but I got that. Like, I got this absence of you know, I mean, I don't recommend you holding your breath, right? But like, there's just this energy of, almost forcing yourself not to overgive. Take it as it resonates. I don't know. That's just the vibe that I'm catching. All right. I'm also getting a like spend time in nature vibe. Interesting. What does Pisces need to know right now? What are we talking about with Pisces? Pisces. Oh my gosh. I'm actually going to pack these up. Um, put these here and then I'm going to put this here. Oh my gosh, Pisces. Some of you may have recently even been asking the universe for a sign or some kind of synchronicity, something here to like put your mind at ease about a particular situation, whether that is like with a particular person or whether that is just love in general, if it's coming. And literally this feels like an answer to that question, you know, for some of you. It's a very clear message. Obviously, I don't feel like I have to in any way interpret that for you. I feel like you can look at that and know that like you've got a lot of really amazing stuff coming in Pisces. You have no need to worry. Let's clarify, because how about that? That would be fun. Even though this message is kind of a standalone message, it's pretty epic in and of itself. Let's clarify. No need to worry for Pisces. Holy crap, Pisces, I give up. Dreams coming true? You have no need to worry. The knot is tied. 
I mean, Pisces. You've got manifestation and vibration, living blissfully. And then you have the knot is tied, mutual promises made, exclusive contract. You've got, you've got someone coming in to commit here, Pisces. Oh, holy crap, look at all this talk about your dreams. Pisces, pay attention to your dreams. Make sure you're getting enough sleep at this time. There may even be messages coming in your sleep. Um, I had a dream. This is so funny. Um, I had a dream that I was at the airport. I have a carry on bag that I absolutely love. And I was at the airport. I was waiting to catch my flight. I was with someone, but I don't know who it was. And I was so busy talking and like having fun that I totally left without my carry on bag. Like I had my backpack, but not my carry on bag. And, um, I was, I, I wasn't sad about the things that were in the bag. Those were replaceable, but I was sad about the actual carry on bag. I don't know. It was interesting. And, and people were like saying to me, oh, you can call the airport. I'm sure someone reported it, you know, and I'm sure you can get it back. And it was like, I wasn't even interested in spending my time trying to do that. I was just kind of mourning the loss of my carry on bag. <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but anyway, I did have that dream. Um, so you have with this romance, oh my gosh, Pisces, look at the bottom of the deck. Pisces, you have romance and you have in our wildest dreams, rebellious love going against the grain, a tempting offer, dancing with danger, short lived thrills. You know, Pisces, I honestly think this is this internal question of, is this a flash in the pan? Is this something that's coming into my life that's lighting me up, that's giving me the butterflies, that's making me get really excited, that's just going to burn out very quickly? Or is this something that is going to be the answer to my wildest dreams? There's a song, I think it's by, um, oh my gosh. I have to think about it. In our wildest dreams. For some reason, 38 special is the only. Oh, I can't. I'm done. I can't. I'm done. I can't. I'm done. I just cannot. Holy crap. In your wildest dreams. Um, they sing White Nights. They sing the Moody Blues. The Moody Blues. Okay. Um, I'm hearing that song. Okay, I don't know what that song is about, and that's the part I'm hearing. Um, Pisces, you have... Okay, whoa! Oh my God, my dream relates to this. Holy crap. If you dream that you are in a space of transportation, oh my gosh. If you have a dream that you're in a space of transportation, you're actually actual traveling. Like it, a lot of times they'll say that, like I have a friend that really is like into dreams and she's told me this many times. It's so funny that I didn't even think about that. I was so focused on my carry-on bag. <laughs> even when I woke up, I was like, I still have that carry-on bag. Um, because I had this heavy clunky one that I was never sure if I was strong enough to get into the b overhead bin. And I got this much lighter one and I just, every time I'm so confident getting on the plane that I'm going to be able to lift it and put it up in there. Not that I'm weak or anything, but like this, the one I used to have was like particularly bulky and heavy and, um, it did give me a little anxiety, but now I have this light one and I was just like, that's why I was sad about it. Also, it's a really, really cool looking thing. Anyway, um, here's what I'm trying to tell you. Um, here you have dream talk and it literally says meeting in the astral plane lucid dreaming Whew. um so anyway i you may be like making arrangements with a soulmate like it just when i say these things to you these things exist in my, the realm of my possibilities i'm not saying this is factual i'm not saying i know for sure that this happens 
I definitely have friends that definitely believe that this happens. Um, and, and they're of sound mind and body, you know what I mean? But like, I'm just offering this to you. If it resonates, take it. If it doesn't, don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not telling you this is definitely happening or this is definitely exists. I'm just telling you that to me, I have not ever had it proven to me that this cannot be true. So I offer this as a, an explanation of a possibility, especially because I was just telling you about my dream of being in the airport and it's talking about on the astral plane here and i literally have this friend who's like whenever you're in a train station a bus station a bus a car an airplane an airport anything that has to do with transportation typically you're astral traveling um and so that's what and then then you get this card that comes out and look at this there's three cards that are all talking about a dream you want to see this deck Look, I bet there's not another single dream card in here. I bet there's not another single dream card in here. Somebody is trying to talk to you through your dreams or in that could be your, even your own, um, it could even be your own intuition. It could even be you spirit guides that are trying to talk to you. I get those messages. Um, there's something you see this there i have not seen one single thing about a dream not one because they're all right here that is insane that is literally that's a synchronicity right there okay anyway someone i feel like is definitely um either heavily in contemplation about giving you their heart like about making some kind of commitment about reaching out to you about letting you know how they feel about you about coming back into your life um something about this where there is something here that is in relation between you and someone else where someone is feeling like they are gonna have to take a risk or make themselves vulnerable without really knowing what the outcome is and their spirit guide is maybe trying to work it out with your spirit guide through the dream space possibility they may be astral traveling you may be astral traveling to like meet up and confer together your spiritual selves um <laughs> pisces some dream that you have is definitely trying to come true and spirit wants to be very clear that you trust yourself about this like this is something definitely if this is your reading what resonates means is intuitively i already feel like this is happening or i'm already aware of this and your reading is just a confirmation to me and that's definitely the vibe that i'm getting from this reading this isn't like oh you've never thought this or felt this or had this and when i'm saying this to you it's not jogging anything within you it's just like Oh, whoa, that would be so cool if that happened. No, this isn't for you. I, I'm sorry, I hate to say that, but like manifest it. Use this reading as a manifestation. Use this reading as a jumping off point. Use this reading as like, I am calling in this energy right here. This is what I want. Um, and go on that journey, you know? Um, but for those of you who this is resonating with, it's like you have this idea. You already feel like someone is trying to talk to you you may even be talking to someone in real life and it's like there is this feeling hanging over the situation of like what are we doing here where is this going um and it's kind of for you pisces on your side i feel it's more of like an opening to receive kind of a vibe Let's just check out the tarot. What you got going on for Pisces? Please, Spirit. What message does Pisces? Oh, okay. Just casual Ace of Pentacles with an Emperor. Jesus, God. Pisces, what have you been doing? See, someone's trying to get out of their head to take action, to offer you something major here. This person, okay, first of all, with this Eight of Swords, you see this is a young person. I'm telling you, 
this is the vibe that I'm just like, this is bowling me over right here. This is someone that if you would have allowed them to play small, they would play small. You know, this is someone who may have even made a lot of promises to themselves, like, I'm not going to get in a relationship or I'm going to stay single for eight months or, you know, I mean, that doesn't have to be, but for some people, I feel like, like that is something. Maybe it's like the duration of the time they have left at school or the duration of the time they have left in a certain place or space. And they're like, I'm just not going to get involved with anyone or anything for this amount of time. Um, for some of you, they may be recovering from something difficult and they may need to, they may kind of feel limited by what has happened to them. Um, and they may have sort of kind of self entrapped themselves into this space of like, I need to stay single for this amount of time, or I just need to be single to heal or to, I don't know, to, to regain my sense of self. Um, but the emperor is telling me that this person is probably a lot more in a space of connection to self than they ever have been. <laughs> um, see these birds over the top of the state of swords? It's just giving me this vibe of like, I wasn't looking for this. I was sitting here in my prison by myself, minding my own business. And then Pisces swooped in or Pisces came in or the thought of this person came to me. It's almost as if this person feels as though they are a victim of falling for the situation or meeting someone before they were ready or, you know, and I will tell you because the emperor and the ace of pentacles is here. It's like Pisces, you were not willing to accept this. You were not like, oh, okay, give me your, give me half of yourself. Oh, okay, you're going to stay there and you're going to be stuck and, and I'm going to have to listen to your bullshit excuses and da, 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 da. You were like, okay, fine. If you want to be stuck and you want to be in your prison and you want to, I'm going to let you do whatever you need to do. And I'm over here, but like, I require emperor energy to like come toward me. And so it's like someone who I feel like is a bit trapped in their head of like, okay, do I break these vows that I made to myself with these eight swords or do I do I step up to the plate and offer this and there the thing is I do not feel that this person is questioning the worth the validity or the value of you or the situation I feel it's something completely internal with this person of some idea that they have in their head about something. Oh. I just give up. Oh, Pisces, this reading is off the chain, I swear. Okay. You see what I'm saying? This person has the intention of just putting their head down and working. You have these two eights. This person is like, this is like, I'm determined just to like, you know, stay in my zone, be me, do me, blah, blah. And there's somebody here that shows up on the scene that I'm like, oh man, that checks every box that is abundant, that feels so good to be around that makes me feel like the sun is shining makes me feel like a brand new person makes me feel like I'm ready to just take this leap of faith but it's like I keep coming back to you but that's not what I'm supposed to be doing at this time but you see this emperor energy is mimicking the, the emperor and the fool have the same body posture the same belief and the same you know, looking up towards aspirational energy rather than like this looking down, being bleak kind of energy. And, and I, I almost feel this energy of like, 
Well, you wouldn't have brought this person that I've been asking for into my life right now if this were not meant to be. Holy shit, this person is seriously, wow. They, wow. <laughs> oh my God, Pisces, what did you do to this person? Lord have mercy. This person is like, they, in their, they're trying to, they're trying to come to a place of peace with this conflict that exists within them mentally. With the Six of Swords here, they're trying to come to a place of calmer waters. They're, they're, they're trying to get themselves off the ledge. They're trying to get themselves to a place where they are free to act on this full card emperor energy that like wants to come forward, wants to take control, wants to make the difficult decision, you know, like wants to be large and in charge and living the life of their dreams. I do feel like this person has recently learned a spiritual lesson with the Page of Pentacles here. I, I think that, you know, they may be in a space of like recovering or they may be in a space of like, you know, I just learned something really important. And generally we learn something really important from difficulty or from some kind of suffering or from some kind of experience that requires a great deal of processing. And so I feel like this person is kind of trying to say, you know what, but like, look, I've already gotten a gift from that situation. I'm moving away from that situation. I'm coming to a place of peace with that situation. It doesn't bother me the way that it used to or the way that it did at one point. Um, I'm balancing out, I'm leveling, I'm, I'm obviously aligning with this energy because this Pisces would not have shown up in my life if I wasn't ready for it. I keep getting that feeling. Um, and you, but I mean, this is a committer. This is a person that is very serious about what they say and do in life. They could be a Taurus. They could be an Aries. They could be an Aquarius. What am I doing? Oh yeah. I feel like this person's almost like first instinct or the instinct that they're trying to fight all the time is this instinct to run. And with the seven of swords and the eight of cups, it's like, I, this is not what I want. This is not even in alignment with how I'm feeling or what I want. It's just that this was such a shock. It was such a surprise. I wasn't expecting it. You got the tower over here. Um, and it's like, I, my, just, you know, I, I like whatever energy I was in, whatever thing I was talking to myself about heavily with the seven of swords and the eight of swords and the six of swords. It's like, this was not in alignment with that. You know, maybe my sense of peace came from this thought that I was going to be single for eight months. And I keep saying that. So I don't know. I do think that that is something that someone has said or, or single for a period of time. Um, and now this is really like coming in and it's, it's kind of forcing me into this position because it's like, you know, it, I think Pisces, if you would have allowed this person to be casual or you would have allowed this person to give you some half-assed version of something, they, they would have, um, you know, they would have taken that and I, I don't know, it, it may have worked out, you know, in the end, but I think, you know, I, I definitely sense with the Queen of Pentacles showing up that you were kind of like, I know my value, I know what I'm worth, and like, I understand that you're in this predicament, and that this is your situation, and this is what you're telling yourself, and I've seen that before, and I'm, I, I understand, you probably have valid reasons for all of that, but also, I, that's not what I deserve, and I didn't cause that, and, um, you know, I'm over here sitting in my worth, and sitting in my value, I'm not trying to force anything, I'm not trying to cling to anything, I'm not trying to be anything to anybody that isn't ready to have to reciprocate that, you know? So you figure it out on your own and, um, and I'll be here. You, you see what I'm saying? Or I may not, I may or I may not, you know, like I'm a high value person, you know, I'm going to be over here being valuable, you know? Um, all right, let me see what this is about. And I think this person is like, kind of wanted to run at, uh, on some level. They, yeah, they definitely did. <laughs> Ooh, I think they may have taken some distance. I think they may have, have said, hey, I need to pull back here for a minute. Oh my God. 
Okay, some of you may be dealing with a Virgo or a Pisces or a Cancer um, or, or Scorpio. Um, you have this energy here with the Hermit and the Seven of Swords. It's like, you can escape the situation, but what are you running to? Because you can't escape yourself with the Hermit energy. And you can't escape what you know you want, what you know you desire. Um, you know, with the star. And that's all the hermit does. This is the singular energy of the hermit. It, it looks at what it wants. It looks at its wish fulfillment. And this person, with the seven of swords being clarified by the hermit, it's like they're running away from themselves and what they want. But they can't run away from themselves because they're eventually that the escape is going to lead them back to themselves and to being by themselves and to be to thinking about what it is that they really want what vision they hold for their future and for their life the three of wands was on the bottom of the deck here and so it's like that's what this person is heavily contemplating when they're by themselves and every time i think it kind of leads back to you pisces to someone who is nurturing who is loving who's a soft place to fall someone who you know, is high value, who knows their worth, who knows their value. And, and this is the thing you, because of all those things, you require this person to actually show up, not promise to show up at some point, not maybe I will when I get over this or when I'm in a different energy than I am right now. It's like, no, I'll, I'm going to take you exactly at face value. And this is what you're giving me at face value. And so I, and that's fine. I respect the hell out of it. But like, this is what I have to give. And I know the value of what I'm giving someone, what I'm offering, and it's unconditional love. And if you feel that you must run from that because you're not ready for that, then okay, fine. But I'm not going to give it to you when you're not ready to receive it and reciprocate it. I know the value of what I'm giving. With the moon card here, there is this unknown. There is this energy of what will happen from this situation. You know, it's not every day that we meet someone that we feel could, could hold our happiness and our wishes in their hands. And so when you meet someone like that, it, you can run from it. Sure you can, you can hide from it. Um, but you can't unsee it, you can't unknow it, and you can't unfeel it. And with the Eight of Cups, there is this energy of what you're walking away from never could have ever made you happy. It never ever could have been your emotional fulfillment. And that was the problem with it from the very beginning. Why are you leaving it if not to go toward your wish fulfillment, the Nine of Cups, the Star and the Lantern, right? What is that? It is this unconditional love. All right. It's just that it came when they weren't expecting it. <laughs> and it felt like it upset the peace that they had just made within themselves of, I'm going to be single for eight months. You know, That's how I'm going to navigate this space. I'm sure about it. And then boom, here comes the soulmate. When you're least expecting it, right? They say that a lot. Okay, I'm just going to have to put some clothes on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Wow. It's kind of like this connection is making this person sort of have to face their truth. And their truth involves the five of coins, which is all of our truth involves the five of coins. All of our truth involves all of these energies in the tarot card deck. We all have a fear of abandonment. We all have a fear of intimacy. We all have those fears, right? However, some of us fall much deeper, you know, on the spectrum than others. And it's causing this person to look at that, to look at that fear and to decide, am I going to let this fear keep me from my wish fulfillment, from this opportunity that is standing in front of my face? Because it's that fear that made this person find comfort in, I'll be single for eight months or I'll be single for a period of time. 
that person gave themselves a window of opportunity where they were not going to have to risk anything else emotionally. They weren't going to have to deal with this fear for, for whatever period of time that was. And, and that brought them peace, that brought them the sense of security and control and safety that they may not have felt for a while, right? If they were in a difficult situation that they had to learn a spiritual lesson from. But that allowing that fear to sort of say, yeah, I'm going to keep you trapped. I'm going to keep you in this prison. I'm going to keep you in this space where all you can do is kind of think about the past because you're not letting any, you're not offering any space for anything new to come in. You have yourself locked down in this sword prison, right? Um, and the only way that you feel at peace with anything is by saying, I'm taking myself out of the game. And you know, is that a healthy way to heal? Absolutely. Absolutely, but this person is much more healed than they understand themselves to be with this emperor that we saw in the very beginning. It felt like a very solid emperor. So this person is asking themselves, you know, like, what do I really want? And you have this absolutely freaking gorgeous energy of the three of coins and the star card. I actually want to share a vision and share a plan and build something with someone else. That's actually my wish fulfillment. My wish fulfillment is finding someone who's capable of doing that with me, who wants to do that with me, and who's as committed to doing that with me as I am with them. On the bottom of the deck, you have the devil. This person is either so attracted to you that they, like physically, that they can't really think about other things, or they're kind of obsessing over how... I feel like how right you are, like how, how everything they have seen from you is exactly what it is that they've been looking for kind of energy. But with the devil and the moon on the bottom of the deck, they so fear the unknown that they're allowing that to sort of wreak havoc with them or keep them a little bit stuck. I do feel this person is freeing themselves. I do feel that the energy coaxing them out of this space is stronger than the energy keeping them in it. But let's see. Five of coins. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's kind of recognizing that was a difficult ending. That was a difficult situation that really drained me, that really exhausted me, but it's over and I can let it go. What I want is standing right in front of me. And there is a deep physical attraction. Now you have the devil and the ace of wands showing in your reading. And that is like, man. Yeah. Look at this. It's all just... Am I willing to let the way, the way I'm thinking and talking to myself prevent me from this opportunity that is everything that I have been wishing for, my own wish fulfillment, somebody that truly is willing, ready, and able to collaborate with me on this level that I've been looking for. Oh my God. Oh my God. You have the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck again. You got the Page of Wands and the Ace of Wands. This person is really um, physically attracted to you. I will just say that. Yeah. Man, oh man, oh man. Oh man. Okay, so you ha this person really wants to make this choice. This person is recognizing the opportunity. They are recognizing that it is what they really deeply desire. And this person is like, everything in me is telling me to take this chance. With the Five of Swords and Judgment, it's like, the Five of Swords is, first of all, no match for Judgment, right? It, it's it, This is like Minor Arcana. This is like those little self-defeating thoughts that we think every day. Yeah, they, they, they profoundly affect us every single day when we allow our minds to wreak havoc and be undisciplined and tell us things that are detrimental to us. Um, those things can wreak havoc for us on a daily basis, but judgment is answering the call of the divine. This is like, this is happening in your life for a reason. 
you know, pay attention. Um, and this is a much greater, louder thing than these little things that I'm telling myself on a daily basis. Oh, I can't. Oh, I promised myself I wouldn't. Oh, you know. Um, on the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Cups. And it, it is almost like this person is experiencing kind of like regret before they have anything to regret. Do you know what I mean? It's like, um, when something is wrong for you, you regret it after you figure out it's wrong for you. When something is right for you, you regret it after you realize something was right for you and you didn't take the chance, right? And with the hangman and the five of cups, this person is, this is the dichotomy of the way this person is seeing things. And there, it is a heavy feeling. It is a heavy emotion and, or like a heavy kind of thing to process, right? Um, and this person may be like taking themselves out of the game. They may like need space for this, this moment, this, this energy right here. They may need just like, to get clear with themselves about what they're doing and about, um, you know, the kind of the purpose of it or the, um, how it's like, I want to say validity of it, but it, it's just like getting right within yourself, like feeling aligned with the choice that you're making. And with the hangman, it's like, I need to clear my head. I can almost even hear somebody saying that. Um, because it's like this pressure, this is creating a pressure on this person of like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to make the same mistake and regret it. And I don't want to not take this opportunity and regret it, trying to protect myself from making this mistake. And it's something that this person has to reconcile within themselves. They have to find peace and clarity and feel that the only way they can do that is to really clear their head and to sort of like pull themselves up out of the situation for a second to think about it. It doesn't feel prolonged. And it is your energy, Pisces. So, I mean, this could be you, right? But it also, it feels like they can't, you're still on their mind. You're still in their heart. You've become part of them. <sighs> Pisces, this person is going to come and talk to you. Um, you have the King of Pentacles coming out with the High Priestess and then the Ace of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. This person is making their choice and they, I think they really, truly, you are very mysterious. You are very elusive. I think that even if you were to say to this person very clearly, like this would be my choice. If you were to give me this choice, I would make this choice. It's kind of like this person is still not sure. And also with the King of Pentacles, I'm also getting this energy of there's really a deep sense here of needing to earn this opportunity with you. Um, it, like even almost for them, for themselves, that they have to feel like they deserve this opportunity with you. I, I don't think it has anything to do with you other than the fact that you're holding a standard and that you're not letting this person off the hook. It's like intuitively, you know, that you could and that they would, but, but that's not the point or the purpose. That's not the full potential of this relationship or what's possible here. And so why deny yourself access to what is possible here? With the Ace of Swords, this person is going to bring clarity to the situation. They are going to tell you that they've heard the call and that they're answering it. Um, you know, I mean, I, I feel like they're going to say something like, you're in my life for a reason. I'm aware of that. You know, um, with the Wheel of Fortune, their hope is to bring change to the situation. They may even want you to see them differently. With this King of Pentacles, they may want you to see them as strong. Um, they may have shown you the weak side. They may have shown you the side that was self-entrapped and that was, you know, still sort of reeling from having learned the spiritual lesson through a difficult experience. They may have even opened up to you about it or admitted it to you, but it's like they want to show you that they're coming in here in a place of solidity, of stability, of strength, someone who, who is capable of offering you something that, they feel you deserve. That has nothing to do with where they came from or what they have experienced. Yeah, this person, seriously, 
they want to show you how serious they are with this this king of pentacles with this eight of coins and this two of wands first of all i'm strong enough to make the decision i'm strong enough to see and to that the, the potential of this and that this is what you know i want and that i am making this decision from a place of being able to solidly make a decision like i'm i don't feel forced i'm not you know, this is just like, this is a very honest decision. I see my future with you. And, and this person is like, I am putting in the work. I, I see going through all the phases of life with you. I love, I love, love, love this eight of pentacles. Can you guys see that it is the stages of a caterpillar's life, um, uh, in the windows? Like this person can see, they're willing to put the work in. They can see every stage and every phase of their life with you. And there's even a child in this card, like, and a dog. They want to give you such a beautiful thing. And, and it feels like they are even recognizing within themselves the their own metamorphosis. Maybe even that they've gone through with you because of you, because of this. Not for everybody, but for some. Holy God, Pisces, what in the hell? This is the stuff of fairy tales. You have the Nine of Cups on the Ace of Swords. They want you to understand that you are what they want. The Nine of Coins. You are, they see you as someone who's, who's not only attractive, but someone who is someone who arrived at where they are with a lot of diligence and a lot of hard work and a lot of effort and they see you as beautiful and strong and capable and this is exactly what they're looking for in a partner um and with the two of cups it is this is like and so now i'm letting you know you know pisces ah i feel if this is your reading you someone is about to give you their heart and they may be meeting up with you in some kind of dream space or even sending you telepathic messages or trying to figure out without high priestess, I do feel like this person is just, you're an enigma, you're a mystery to them at the end of the day. It's like, they're not quite sure what you're thinking. They're not. And, and then I feel something kick in within this person of, of, it isn't about, it, it is about for me feeling like I've earned this chance and that I've earned this opportunity and that I deserve Pisces um, with that King of Pentacles. So it, it's, it turns internal with this person and something that is rock solid is always internal, you know? Um, so Pisces, that's what I have for you. I'm going to give you some true love oracle cards here. Wow. I mean, Pisces, this is some kind of love. You are not going to be watching tarot for long if this is your story. I'm just telling you. If you're dealing with the water sign, I wanted it to be you. I wanted it to be you so badly from You've Got Mail. And to me, you are perfect. If you're dealing with the fire sign, you're getting so many. You're getting oblivious, genuine, hidden. You have bewitched me, body and soul. And I love, I love, I love you from Pride and Prejudice. If you are dealing with an earth sign, more than friends, protector, accidentally in love. Yeah, I got that feeling of accidentally in love. If you're dealing with an air sign, forever plus one, I will return. I will find you, love you, marry you, and live without shame from atonement. Woo, Pisces. Well, this is what I have for you. <laughs> this quiet little calm reading over here is what I have for you. <laughs> Guys, I absolutely love you. I want the absolute best for you. I, I truly hope that this is your experience, if this is what you're looking for in life. And I send you on your way with all of my best. Always, always, always. Bye-bye.